What's up, everybody? Okay, good afternoon. Um, today is a new day, November 9th. As you can see, the day before, well, no, the day after the election, Donald Trump is our president. Yes, well, not our, I'm not included in this foolishness, but Donald Trump is the president of the United States of America today and for the next four years. So, fasten your seatbelts and just do you, do what you came here on this earth to do. And that's all I have to say, you know, about that case. Point period, point blank, close. I basically gave all my opinions about the whole election and the whole Donald Trump versus Hillary and all types of things. I've already said and I already voiced my opinion. I just hopefully y'all respect that. Um, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. So I will never come at someone disrespectfully just because they agree or disagree with what I'm saying or what my opponent is saying or whoever. Like, I wouldn't ever disrespect someone because of their opinion, no matter what. So, at the end of the day, we all here and we all on this earth. And just continue to live your life. Continue to do what your calling is for. And that's all you can do at this point. And that's what all I would continue to do. This, as anything, should make you more focused and for you to wake up and realize the type of mess that you know this country can potentially be in if we're not already in you know it's been a rough year for us lately so this is just like cherry on top of the cake you know we've all we already had so many you know fights and deaths and riots about you know all the type of stuff that's been going on in our country for the past two three years and for this to actually be like the result that the government you know is looking upon and like i said i didn't support neither one of them hillary or uh i'm sorry you guys not here but i didn't support neither one of them hillary or donald trump but at the same time you know you have to understand that the decision that the government has finally made it shows you where they stand and it shows you the government and the country that they want and that just ties in everything else that's been going on in our country. That just ties everything else um, that's been going on as far as like the tragic events, the tragic lives lost, the whole police brutality, and you know everything that's just been going on. It's just it's a lot. So I mean, you just gotta take it all in and then just figure out what your next step forward is. This is only the beginning of it all. Like really. I can honestly say that it's on the beginning of it all. So prepare yourself to do what you gotta do. Like, for real. For real. But, I'm on my way to class, though. That don't stop me from going to class. It don't stop me from going and getting my education and do what I'm set out to do and all my dreams and my goals. I'm not scared not one bit, okay? Nobody can take me out of my comfort zone except for me. I'm the only one that has control over that. So, I hope y'all realize that. I hope y'all, you know, work from that standpoint and from that mindset that nobody can take you out your comfort zone. Nobody can affect the work that you do where you're going in life except for you just think of this as another obstacle that we're going to get through and that's just it simple and plain simple and plain bruh i'm about to go over what is this cat doing i don't get it is she supposed to be going in the next lane i don't know but i'm looking at this car behind me I don't understand. A lot of cars do that lately. Like, I, oh, he's turning. No, he's not turning. What was he doing? He wasn't doing anything. This car was probably like legit, probably four or five cars behind me and left all of the space between us. And I'm just like, why aren't you up at the late light? Like, I don't get it. I didn't understand. I don't know why he was like that, but. Yeah. Anyways, 
like that was weird. A lot of cars do that lately. Like I've seen that a lot in Orlando. Like they just randomly stop with so much space between them and then the next car in front of them. And I'm like, why is there like so much space between you? You're the cause of all this traffic. That's what it is. That's what I think. I'm like, you trying to talk about this traffic and it's not cute. But yep, I'm on my way to class, like I said, and I am probably going to vlog a little bit of when we take our break. Today we're going to be watching a movie. I forget. It's called Birdman. It's like an old movie. Probably around like the 80s or something like that. I don't know. It's basically Batman, but the earlier version of Batman called Birdman. That's what I think. Don't quote me. That's what I think my teacher said. And you know, I'm a writer so writing for entertainment so of course a lot of us want to be screenwriters and stuff like that so <sighs> this is what we do we write scripts we write short stories different types of stories flash fiction all types of stuff and you know basically monday we read the we read the um script not the script yeah, we read the script. We read the script for Birdman Monday. And then he said Wednesday we'll be actually watching. Oh, there's a parking space. Let me just park here. But he said Wednesday we'll just actually watch the movie. So today is Wednesday and now we're watching the movie. I can only imagine how this um, class is going to get started. I can only imagine how this class is going to get started. Huh? But um, yeah. So it was a homeless guy. He was asking for money. I gave him five dollars. He has good skin for a homeless guy. <laughs> he almost looked like he almost looked really fake. Like he looked really like mannequin like. And when I say fake, I mean like mannequin like, cause he had great skin. Like I don't think he was homeless. <laughs> I don't know. But I gave him five dollars, cause. Yesterday I gave a guy that said that he was homeless um, some money too. I think I gave him like $5. I, I just gave him a whole bunch of dollars. So I don't really know how much I gave him, but it was quite a bit. Um, I just figured like, hey, I have this cash on me. I might as well, you know, give it to somebody that says that they're in need instead of me just using it to get fast food. So <laughs> I am 10 minutes early. To class I don't know if I stopped in my tracks with what I was trying to say because this guy came up to me but yeah I'm 10 minutes early for class oh I was talking about I don't know how the class discussion is going to get started with knowing how Donald Trump is president now and how everybody's feeling about the election so I'm I don't I just don't want to hear about none of this stuff I mean I'm not gonna like I expect people to say something about the election, of course, but I already been on Facebook, on Instagram, all types of stuff, listening to everybody's opinions. I, especially on Facebook, I've seen someone disrespect this person so bad just because he supported Donald Trump. He just so happens to be white, but besides his political views and his opinion about what's been going on. I personally actually had a conversation with him about uh, politics and about how I felt as though Donald Trump nor Hillary Clinton were both, you know, potential candidates for this country. But at the same time, you know, he decided to what's his opinion on my post like some months before. Basically, Donald Trump had said something about black people living in poverty. And I made a post about it, stating my opinion. He made a post, I mean, he made a comment back, you know, responding back to what I said. And given the fact that he is a supporter of Donald Trump, he basically interpreted what Donald Trump said in a different way than I did. And I felt as though, well, I mean, it is your opinion, but at the same time, my opinion is still going to be the same. And we just had a healthy, respectful discussion on it. We were never arguing. We just had a healthy, respectful discussion about it. So, I mean, and that's all we could do. That's all we could possibly ever do. And that's what I decided to do with him because I respected him. And I knew him because he's from my hometown. 
and he knows a lot of people that are related to me you know the black community back at home he knows a lot of them he loves black women he you know he dates black girls so i mean he just so happens to be white i mean that's it i mean it doesn't change who he is or anything but given the fact that how everything has come about and the results of this election um a lot of people have been bashing him because he supports donald trump now i'm not the person to judge someone but you know the way they disrespected him called him a cracker called him out his name and he didn't do none of those things but simply tried to have a respectful discussion so he just wanted to say well how do you feel like hillary was going to be a potential candidate for us like how do you feel like hillary was going to be somebody that was going to support us and he was trying to have that conversation with that person but that person was just being ignorant and um but simply bashing him and calling him out his name, a cracker, being racist, and all types of stuff. And it was just very sad to see, you know, people act like that. I don't care if you're part of whatever community. If you're acting like that, being disrespectful towards each other, that's very sad to see. And for me to see all of that in face on Facebook, it was it's, it was very sad. I was like, wow. It takes time out of your day to be disrespectful towards each other. Like you have to you have to be smart. You have to think wisely. Like this is not the type of you know situation that you want. Like you can't have to. You don't have to look at your neighbor, the person walking next to you or beside you, and mm -hmm. feel as though you're a possible threat or they're a possible threat because of what they look like and you know that's it that's it yeah i'm about to go into class i'm about to go into class and um yeah probably try to like videotape some clips here and there um in class and stuff like that so i'll see y'all hola you guys okay so welcome back it's a brand new day i am sorry that i haven't been vlogging like as frequently lately but basically like the last couple of days i haven't had anything to do so there would be nothing to vlog so the past couple of videos that i've had up so far is just me like talking or doing something uh one day and then merging the video uh for the next day onto to make a whole vlog you know what i'm saying but anyways today is friday once again, I'm off of work today. I don't have any class today. And, uh, what else? Basically, I've just been chilling all day. Like, I cleaned a little bit today. I'm in the process of cleaning. Like, right now, I'm about to take the trash out. I had, uh, I'm cleaning the bathroom as we speak. I swept a little bit and stuff like that. And then, plus, I had some maintenance people come over so they can, um, fix the lights in my house because there was a shortage in my living room with the lights, the ceiling fan, and then the wiring to one of the outlets where I plug up my TV and stuff. There was a big shortage, so like one of the wires was loose, he said. And then plus the lights from the ceiling fan was coming, like they were going out too. So I didn't want to um, undo the lights on screw uh, light bulbs and put new ones in there myself because I was scared knowing that there was a shortage in the wiring. I didn't want to get electrocuted or anything like that. So I called one of the maintenance people to come in and do it themselves and when he was screwing it up like the light busted and like shattered on him and so I was like that's exactly why you know I didn't want to do it so <laughs> I'm glad he did it instead of me not saying that you know I wanted him to die instead of me but <laughs> like I just wanted like safety reasons that's his job like he's he's more advanced with that he knows what's going on i don't want to be going up there and killing myself and setting the whole house on fire so yeah, there's that and then plus you know i washed my hair today that's why you see it like up in these little twists and i got the twist tucked in i look a little crazy but i always look crazy so crazy is what i do is what i does um but yeah, so I'm about to take the trash out. I'll be right back. Back, yay. Okay, I don't know why I turned the car off. I never turn the car off while I'm taking the trash out. Because the trash, the dumpster is like right in front of me. So, like, all I have to do is just hop in. I mean, hop out of the car and just take the trash out. Like, it's nothing to a box. Wait, let me watch what I'm doing. Let me watch the curb. 
but yeah so right now i am about to go to walmart i should go to walmart real quick and get um should i i i was trying to go to walmart and go to panera Bread, but yeah i should go to walmart real quick because i have to go get milk first or should i get the milk last because the milk might you know get warm oh they're letting me through yay this is my song though Quick little jam session. I love the song. I'm set it off. Everybody knows this song. Everybody knows this song. This song is like, oh my gosh, I love this song. I love this song. It's back in the day. It's like from the 70s, but I love it. They play it every now and then. They have like some little radio music marathon thing. 15 minutes, 50 minutes, non-stop playing music, something like that. I don't know, but yeah. So. I need to just get a couple things from Walmart and then I need to go to Panera Bread too. But I think I'm going to go to Walmart first because I don't want my Panera Bread to get cold. <laughs> but they are jamming on this radio station though. Yes. This is, I love this type of old school dance music. Like, <laughs> it's giving me so much life right now. But today, <sighs> Today's been such a really cool, chill, relaxed day. Like yesterday, like as I was getting ready for bed and stuff like that, it was such a cool, relaxed night for me last night. And then when I woke up this morning, I had that same energy and I brought it on for today. And so I just been relaxing, chilling, like doing little bits and pieces here and there and like getting stuff done today. So i just been ultimately relaxing like it's been like really chill for me but still at the same time like you know getting errands and stuff done i was trying to um talk to my mom today she had called me while the maintenance people were working with these wires so she tried to facetime me while the maintenance people was uh working on the uh the wires and the shortage on through my walls but while he was turning the power off, I forgot that my phone was hooked to the Wi-Fi, so the uh, FaceTime had uh, went out. The FaceTime went out, so I couldn't really talk to her. <laughs> and so when I tried to call her back, she wasn't answering the phone. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I needed her to do something for me, so I was about to give her a number so she can call for me, but she didn't answer the phone so I get so annoyed when she doesn't return my FaceTime calls because I call her once and I'm like call me right back or I'll call you right back and she says okay and then I try to call her back and she doesn't answer I'm like what are you doing like I needed to do something for me or I just I wanted to talk to her but this time I actually needed her to do something for me and she didn't reply she didn't answer my uh, phone call when I tried to return the call because it dropped because he was working on the power so the power went out in my place so whatever I'll just hopefully she comes calls me at the end of the night which it really won't matter because I need her to call this person for me but by the time she probably returns my call it's gonna be too late like you can't call anybody about business at night so it's whatever and what is all this freaking smoke whose car is that oh no i'm about to go into walmart and i'll take you guys along with me and i'm gonna go ahead and just after i get done with what the hell what the hell what the hell I'm sorry, somebody just snuck up behind me, this red car. You know how red cars are. They don't know how to drive. But, yeah. So I'm about to go inside Walmart, and I'm going to take you guys along with me just to get, like, a couple things. I guess I'm going to get, like, a shopping cart, too. It would make sense. These people need to learn how to drive. Don't start with me. Don't start with me. Cutting me off so you can get into the turning lane. You should have been in that lane. You should have been in that lane. You shouldn't have been in the complete opposite lane no 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 these people trying it today but today is too good of a day for me to even 
go into all that right now. I'm in too good of a space. Too good of a space. I'm sorry. Y'all ain't gonna be fucking around with me. Not today. funny because I was playing that same song one time while I was riding back to my house while I was driving back to my house I was playing that same song and I had the windows down and this lady that was driving right beside me she was laughing because she was like you're so young and you know this song like you blasting it you singing I'm like yes I love this song like I'm not ashamed to dance to that song because it's like such a girly song I love it I love it so much I need to uh, get my Bluetooth speaker so I can like blast some music during the holidays and just like have it around my house because I love music. I love blasting music. So I have some music playing right now at my house. I, didn't, I forgot to turn it off. That's why. But I love blasting music. Like I love it. Um, speaking of the holidays, Thanksgiving is coming up, and my um, sister and my mother is going to be coming over. They're going to be in Orlando for the holidays I will be driving up to Fernandina the Beach to get them and drive back down to Orlando I think I'm gonna um I think I'm gonna try to drive up to Fernandina probably like earlier that week depending on if I have a Thanksgiving break which most likely which most likely I will most have a Thanksgiving break during that week so I'll drive down there earlier that week and then I will I will leave on Wednesday morning with my mom and my sister so we can drive um, back to Orlando and then they're gonna spend the holidays with me they're gonna spend Thanksgiving with me not Christmas of course but they're gonna spend Thanksgiving with me and we're gonna cook on Wednesday night and then Thursday I believe is Thanksgiving so I'm excited because they're coming home with me, they're going to my house. My dad's not coming because my dad has to work over the holidays. Like, he always has to work during the holidays. Even though my dad's not going to be there, um, I'll have my mom and my sister with me. And then, um, what else? I think my sister is going to some convention, a Church of God convention in Orlando that following weekend. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, our church in front of Dina is supposed to be coming down to Orlando for the convention. For the convention, and since my sister and my mom are already going to be in Orlando area for Thanksgiving, then it'll make it easier for them, so they won't have to drive all the way down with the church back to Orlando. So they're just gonna stay with me, and my mom's gonna stay with me for the weekend until Danielle does her thing or whatever at the convention. I think my mom's gonna go with her. They're staying at a hotel. I'm not going. I wish I could. I could probably get tickets for like the events, but I think it's too late for that. I have to check up on that and see, but yeah. Yeah, I went like two years ago. It's a very nice convention. I love the hotel, like the beds be a1 like oh my gosh the beds be a1 in that hotel room like for real and then the convention is so nice uh i forgot her name jacaylin carr i'm pretty sure that's her name she's a really great singer and she's like i think she's like a preacher too she's like 18 19 years old something or 20 like she's a young gospel singer basically and she was at the she was at the uh convention two years ago so she was really nice she was really cool and yeah it was fun so hopefully the kids have fun this year if they are still going this year I'm pretty sure they're going but yeah so let me go inside this store so I can go and get some food well not food but like supplies. Okay, my phone's about to die I did not bring my charger to charge my phone inside the um, Nope, inside the uh, car. So my phone's gonna die any minute. I thought I was gonna be able to vlog some more, but I don't know. I might have to vlog when I get back to the house. But alright, you, you guys. So as you can see, it is darker outside. I just left Walmart, and they didn't have anything that I needed. So that was like a no-go. But 
of course when you bring a female into a store they're gonna get everything that they don't need so yeah that's what happened and this person behind me just drove the car completely wild <sighs> i can't do it when they clearly see me backing out and they still just managed to drive their car all extra wild and stuff but it's all good it is what it is but anyways when i tell you i went into that store and i didn't see anything that i needed except for like the milk and the stuff that i was going to get i really wanted to get like a shower curtain like the plastic uh cover uh part that goes behind your shower curtain that actually goes inside the tub i don't know the exact name for it but that's what i was going to get and they did not have it in that walmart because that walmart is not like a super walmart it's just a regular like it's called the neighborhood walmart so they mainly just have cleaning products and supplies and like food and stuff like that that's it so they don't have anything special that i need but y'all really can't see me that's so sad whatever but um i know this is illegal to drive with the lights on <laughs> but i managed to get other things that i didn't need like some wine i found some very cheap wine that tasted pretty damn good and i was like i might as well get it hey i got it and i needed a corkscrew I actually I did need that I lost my corkscrew from work so I needed a corkscrew so at least that wasn't a waste but I was just really into the mood for some wine and then the guy that was doing some wine tasting he was like you know come up here I want to let you sample some wine real quick and I'm like I love sampling wine that's my thing y'all really can't see me it's so dark that's so annoying uh, but I love sampling wine, so he let me sample some wine, and I sampled Chardonnay. I wanted to actually, I was looking at some Merlot, like I wanted some red wine, but I'm glad he let me sample the Chardonnay because I was just, oh, it's just good. So I'm gonna have me some wine tonight. Have me some wine tonight, and it's perfect because I go to work tomorrow, which is Saturday, and then I go to work on Sunday too, and I know when I get off of work, I'm gonna need that wine. I'm gonna need that wine, honey, to set me off in the mood. So I'm glad I got the wine because it was just gonna be perfect for me. And it was cheap. I wasn't like buying like $20 wine. So I would, but it would have to be a big bottle and it would have to taste good and it would have to last me. See, daylight seven times has hit us and it's so dark out here. It's so dark out here. It's ridiculous. And it's only like six o'clock and it's like dark outside i don't know if y'all like when i see it on the camera it doesn't look that dark outside but y'all know if it was light outside then y'all would be able to see my face more but y'all can't so you know you know how it goes that's so weird like on camera it looks like it's like four o'clock in the afternoon no. and then like in real life, in the real world, it's, it, it, the sun has already went down. So, yeah, that's what's going on right now. So right now I'm about to go to Panera Bread. Like I said, I didn't get everything that I wanted from Walmart, so I'm gonna have to make another Walmart run later on today. I don't wanna go right now. I just wanna get my Panera Bread and go back home and just relax and chill out. And then later on uh, tonight, I'll go to the other Walmart, the Super Walmart, and get the stuff that i need because they're gonna have all the stuff that i need because i was looking for like like i said the little uh plastic shower curtain to go inside the tub so because the other one that i had it was getting dirty and like i've had that for years like probably ever since i was in high school so it was time to throw that out but yeah and now I need to get a new one, and it shouldn't be that much, so, yeah. So I'll have a late Walmart run. I'll take you guys along with me. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun. <sighs> I want to go to the Florida Classic. That's what's playing on the radio. They're advertising the Florida Classic. 
I think I'm gonna go. It's November 19th and it's in Orlando, Florida. Um, it's gonna be FAMU and I forgot who else. That's bad that I wanna go somewhere and I forgot the teams. But I know, I know who it is. I just forgot in my mind, whatever. But I wanna go to the classic. I wanna see my friend, my roommate who I used to uh, stay in Tallahassee with, she's like somewhere in like Fort Myers or something, but she was uh, texting me how, and saying how she wanted to go to the Classic. So she wanted to come up here by me and go to the Classic so we can meet up and chill out and hang. And I also wanted to see if one of my other friends um, down here, if he wants to go with me or with us to the Classic. If she doesn't go, then I wanted to see if he would go because that would be cool and i totally just made a wrong turn but yeah you guys so that was, i want him to go with me if she doesn't go because it would just be cool to like uh oh i can't turn right there it'd be cool to see him and stuff again because we haven't really hung out ever since he came to my house and um basically just like chill and watch movies and stuff so it would be nice for him to come back over very nice for him to come back over but and then even if she does go with me then it'll be still nice to just have like just to meet up with him that'll still be nice to meet up with him and see him again i know we're both really busy like he goes to school and then i go to school too as well so i mean Oh, y'all really can't see me. Oh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna have to end this vlog real quick. But yeah, he can't. Um, he goes to school and I go to school as well. So we're both really busy. We got class and work and stuff to do. So I mean, it's both. It's always understandable. Like no pressure or anything. But it's nice to like see each other and spend time with each other when we can so i'm gonna ask if he wants to go to classic with us or meet up with the classic and yeah hopefully we all get to go together or like go get something to eat afterwards or something like that so it should be fun but i'll talk to y'all later when i get inside a place where there's like yes like, panera bread yes yes panera yes Yes, I got my, I got my panini. I got my panini. It's gonna be there. It's gonna be there. Let me get my wallet. My wallet. Hey, I haven't had this panini in so long. I'm in the drive-through right now. I know I told y'all I was gonna speak to y'all when I get inside, but it's just I gotta get the food first. I gotta get the food. I just wanted to show you guys the excitement of getting my Panera bread because. Panera bread is fire. It's fire. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got our Panera bread and it's about to be good. And we're about to go back to the house. Okay, so, beautiful see y'all later. So, I'm back at the house. And if you can't see, like, if you don't notice that it's like 10 times brighter in here, it's because the maintenance people came by earlier, like I said, and he fixed the light. So, yeah, you could. I think you could tell the difference from like all the other vlogs. But yes, like I said, you guys, I got some wine when I went to Walmart because I couldn't find anything else in that Walmart that I went to. So later on tonight, I'll be going to another Walmart. But the trip was not something that I doubted. Cause I got some wine. I got me some shorter name. But yeah, I got some shorter name. Got a corkscrew because I need a corkscrew, bruh. I need a corkscrew. I need it for work, and then plus I need it for this. So I'm about to crack this open a little later. Or should I do it now? I think I should do it now. Okay, you guys. So we're gonna crack open this wine bottle, but first I have to take out this corkscrew. So yeah. FYI, I just started, you know, learning how to open wine bottles. Now I do it like casually because at work, I'm supposed to do that because people actually like buy the legit bottle of wine at work. So this is something that I just recently learned to do. 
so yeah and don't don't try to come for me because i just recently learned how to do this i'm 22 years old if y'all did not know and you're only supposed to be drinking like when you're 21 yeah so not saying that i haven't been drinking before i was 21 I'm just not an alcohol person anymore. Like, I, I, I've been drinking for so long that alcohol, like, I do that on occasions. But if I want to have, like, an everyday, like, sip, sip, it's going to be wine because wine doesn't make you feel like an alcoholic. It don't. But, you know, I know I'm not an alcoholic. You know how people like to make assumptions and stuff like that. So, it's like, I feel like having a sip sip every day of some nice wine that, you know, gets you relaxed in the mood. Which you don't need wine or any type of alcohol to put you in a mood. But, you know, it's always fun to have because, I mean, wine is good for the body. Okay, I'm trying to get this down. Okay, I think, see, like I said, I'm new to this, but I did it! I need to put it in the refrigerator, that's what I'm about to do. So yes, it's in the refrigerator now, it's about to be nice and chill by the time I get done with it. Uh, not get done with it, but by the time I get ready to drink it, it'll be nice and chilled, so yay. I'm gonna turn this light off, but yeah, so I'm about to eat my Panera bread. Let me show y'all the Panera bread. These chips be bomb. Like, they're so healthy. I'm going to start going to Panera bread and Chipotle because those are the two, like, healthiest fast food choices that you can ever go to. I'm going to stop uh, going to, like, Papa John's and, like, Zaxby's and Subway and stuff like that. Like, no, I'm going to just stick to Panera bread and Chipotle because they're both life. And also, like, I want to be able to have cheat days, too. So, I want to do cheat days, like, two times a month. So, I know that's going to be very hard on me because I get cravings like a mofo. But I have to be able to fight my cravings. I really have to. So, usually if I have cravings, I'm going to just go and get some Panera Bread. Because Panera Bread or Chipotle, it just they're very healthy options and it's going to fill me up regardless especially Panera Bread. Panera Bread fills me up like to the T because it's so healthy the food and plus it's like it's filling at the same time so it's always going to be a this good option This is my panini. For me. I'm about to go and grub on that thing and I'll call well, I'm, about to, I, <laughs> I'm about to say I'm about to call y'all back later but I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to give me some juice and then grub think I stopped drinking my water too because I got my water on deck too like I'm serious about this eight bottles of water a day challenge hola YouTube I should be going to Walmart soon I probably just wait till yeah, I probably just wait early in the morning like it's no big deal for me to wait early in the morning because I really don't feel like going anywhere tonight so most likely, I'm not going to be going to Walmart tonight. So, scratch that off the list. Yeah. But, um, I like my wine, though. I love it. It's so good. I'll see you guys later. And thank you guys for watching. This is the end of vlog. Bye.